We're facing a very serious situation here in Liverpool. Our city has the highest number of hospital patients with COVID in the country. As a critical care consultant, I see just how sick many of our patients become. Dr Tristan Cope there speaking in response to the rise of coronavirus cases in the region. There are concerns that the rising number of people needing hospital treatment for coronavirus will have a significant impact on care and services elsewhere. NHS England has told all hospitals to continue to provide non-COVID care during the second wave, though some trusts believe this will prove increasingly difficult in the coming weeks. Areas in Liverpool with a high student population have seen coronavirus cases increase since term began. It is believed that the rate of infection in these areas is five times higher than that of other areas. Larissa Kennedy, president of the NUS, said it's clear that students have been sold a lie about their experience this term by universities that have prioritised their income over the health of their staff and students. The National Union of Students is demanding the right for students to leave their university accommodation and access education entirely online to benefit the safety and well-being of them, staff and local residents at risk in high case areas. We're in a really difficult situation with the rate of infections and if they continue then our hospitals will really struggle. You can help with very basic and simple action. Wash your hands regularly, wear face masks and keep your distance from others. We can reduce admissions to hospital and critical care we can protect our families and friends. Every individual taking action will make a difference in protecting our communities.